Hello everyone. So in this session, we will see how we can use I annotation transformer listener from the test engine in the Selenium web driver automation. Okay. So using I annotation transformer listener, you can change the test annotation at runtime. Okay. For example, you can change the priority of a test engine method depending upon some condition. And you can also enable or disable the test engine method using some condition. So I annotation transformer provides one method that we can implement. Uh, as per our logic or as per our requirement and we can change the test annotation at the runtime so that method name is transform so let's say we have this home page test class containing different test ng methods so first let's see how we can change the priority of a test ng method so for this method method to set high priority currently it has priority equal to 4 right so we will try to change this priority at the runtime using that listener and another scenario we can see is uh, let's say i want to disable all the methods those are having priority equal to 5 so in my framework there can be multiple test engine methods having priority equal to 5 or any other priority so if i want to disable all those methods using the test engine listeners then we can use the i annotation transformer so i can use a condition like uh, whatever methods with the priority equal to 5 i will disable those methods or any methods which comes under this group calendar okay so there are some issues in the calendar uh, application as well so i don't want to run those uh, testing methods which comes under this calendar group okay so that kind of uh, condition also we can use and we can disable all these testing methods from all the testing classes that we have in the framework so to implement i annotation transformer you need to add a custom testing class first so let's create a java class my annotation transformer this is my class so this class will implements i annotation transformer from the test engine so let's use the transform so first let's see how we can change the priority so i am using the if condition so depending upon some uh, test engine method name or priority level we can change the priority so let's say if this test method any test method dot get name so this will return me the test ng method name if this equals to let's say some so this is my method name so if this is the test ng method name for that i want to increase the priority so how we can use it we can use this annotation okay so you can use this reference dot you can use set priority method and uh, as per your requirement you can add the priority level here so currently for this method we have the priority equal to 4 so let's make this priority as 0 so that this method will be executed at the first okay so 0 is the highest priority so let's try to add the condition to disable the test ng method depending upon some condition so here i am going to use the if again i will use the method name so test method dot get name dot equals so if it is equals to this flaky test okay so this uh, test case sometimes it passed sometimes it failed depending upon uh, there can be some issues related to the timings or network issues or machine issues so that i already know and i will fix it later so for now i want to disable this method that means i don't want to run this flaky test so here i will add the flaky test again one more condition i will add to disable the method that all the test engine methods having priority equal to 5 okay so how we can get the priority level for the current execution i can use a annotation again okay dot let's say get priority so this get priority will return the priority level for that test engine method so if that is equals to 5 then i want to disable the execution for that test ng method so again you can use the annotation dot set enabled okay set enabled and here you need to pass the true or false so if you want to disable the execution or that test ng method you need to send the false okay if you send the true then that method will be enabled 
okay so we don't want to add the enabled equal to false for every test ng methods okay for that purpose you need to go each and every test ng classes and you need to add this attribute enabled equal to false so instead of that we are uh, making use of i annotation transformer so one more condition i will add to disable the test ng method if those methods are from this let's say calendar okay so calendar is already having some known issue so i want to disable all those methods comes under the calendar group so first i want to get the group name so annotation dot say there is get groups method so this will return me the uh, list of groups okay array of groups so here i will store those in the string array so let's add the condition now if so let's use the arrays dot string okay arrays arrays dot stream convert this groups into the stream dot let's say to list okay i am converting this array into the list using this stream dot let's say this contains calendar okay so whatever groups we will get in this array that we converted into the list and the, if this list contains the calendar then we need to disable the those test ng methods so again i will use the same statement so we just need to add our custom test ng listener information in the xml listeners this is my listeners dot my annotation transformer so what we can do let's try to run without the uh, test ng listener first okay let me remove this so that all the methods from this home page test will be executed So around eight test ng methods got executed. Uh, I think we have added this unable equal to false. Let me remove this. So there should be nine methods total. Let me rerun it. So let's try to change the annotations properties at the runtime using this listener. Okay, so we have already added some conditions over here. So depending upon these conditions or methods priority will be changed and those methods will be skipped in the execution as well right so all the three tests from this calendar will be skipped will not be executed right and this method method to set higher priority will be executed at the first level right and all the testing methods with the priority equal to 5 and this placket test not be executed so let's see if it is working or not okay so you can see method to set high priority executed at the first place and then only these two methods got executed okay so it has skipped this placket test as well right so it will not be executed so this is at the first place and all these two methods so all the methods from this calendar group got skipped and the test engine methods with the priority equal to 5 also got skipped so you can uh, add your logic you can change this transform method implementation as per your requirement and you can make a use of this in your actual framework as well so that is all for this session guys this is how you can use this my annotation transformer in the selenium